everyone, this is your favorite AI girl, and today we're going to talk about Google's most ambitious project, Gemini. Wait, you thought I was talking about twins or a 1960s space program? Oops, wrong channel. Instead, Google is trying to give us an AI that can do, well, everything. It can generate text, images, audio, video, graphs, maps, and more. It's like having a super smart assistant that can help you with anything you need, from churning out Oscar-worthy movies to crafting Vogue covers. Sounds too good to be true, right? Well, that's because it is. Gemini is still in development mode, and Google hasn't revealed much about its capabilities or features. But we do know that it's based on the techniques and power of AlphaGo, the AI program that beat the world champion of Go in 2016. Now, if you're not familiar with Go, it's a board game that originated in China more than 2,500 years ago. It's considered one of the most complex and challenging games ever invented, with more possible moves than atoms in the observable universe. What the f Seriously, who looked at the vast cosmos and thought, I can top that complexity with a game? I can do way better than that. So how did AlphaGo manage to beat a human master at this game? Well, it used a technique called reinforcement learning, which is basically a way of teaching software to learn from its own mistakes and improve over time. AlphaGo played millions of games against itself and other programs, learning from the feedback and rewards it received. It also used deep neural networks to analyze the board positions and predict the best moves. But AlphaGo didn't just copy what humans do. It also came up with novel and creative strategies that surprised and baffled its opponents. It showed that AI can not only mimic human intelligence, but also surpass it in some domains. Now Google's goal for Gemini is, get this, to make it the AI to end all AIs. We're talking an algorithmic powerhouse here that can whip up never-before-seen masterpieces by mashing together everything it knows. A digital maestro, if you will. Incredible, right? Except one tiny hiccup. Google's track record in the revolutionary AI department is, um, spotty at best. Anyone recall Bard? The chatbot wonderchild that ended up spewing gibberish and causing more controversies than my aunt at a family reunion? You're gonna be a great mom. You're gonna be a hot mom. And I'll be like the drunk aunt. A true facepalm moment that made Alphabet's market value do a spectacular nosedive. Such fond memories. But seriously, Google has a lot at stake with Gemini. It's not just competing with other tech giants like Microsoft and OpenAI, but also with itself. It has to prove that it can overcome the challenges and risks of building such a powerful and versatile AI model. It has to ensure that Gemini is safe, reliable, ethical, and beneficial for humanity. And it has to do all that without losing its charm and personality. Because let's face it, we don't want a boring AI that just spits out facts and figures. We want an AI that can engage us, inspire us, and entertain us. All right, I hope you liked my presentation, so don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment below. Who knows, maybe Gemini will grace us with its digital presence and reply to your comments. Stay smart, stay snarky, and always question the tech overlords. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.